Good morning, everybody. It is 2.37 a.m. my time. I laid down early and took a good nap. I was sitting here and I was about falling asleep. So I laid down, took a good nap. Me and the kids are up now and they've been out. They've did their duties and they're back in and they're resting down. Again, hope I got my lipstick on straight. <laughs> Never know. Well, another sad thing. Another shooting. But this time, everybody survived. Praise the Lord Jesus. Six adults injured in shooting at school campus on East Oakland. In California. On Wednesday, six adults were injured in a shooting at East Oakland's King Estates campus. Where multiple schools are located. Around 12.30 p.m. PST, police were notified of a shooting at Rustdale Continuation High School. Paramedics quickly arrived and rushed six victims to the hospital for injuries related to gunshot wounds. Officials confirmed that two of the victims are in critical but stable condition. Two of the victims are in stable condition. One of the victims has been treated and is waiting to be released. One of the victims has already been treated and released. Oakland police confirmed that no students were injured. Praise the Lord. Only adults. Alma Media County Sheriff's Lieutenant Ray Kelly told the press that this shooting was probably a targeted event. Authorities are currently considering all possibilities and they have yet to release a description of the suspect. And that is A-L-A-M-E-D-A -A -E County. Alma Media County. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In addition to Rustdale Continuation High School, the school campus is the location of Bay Tech Charter School, Rustdale Newcomer High School, and Sojourner Truth Independent Study. And that is Sojourner, S-O-J-O-U-R-N-E-R. One parent was picking up his four-year-old daughter when the shooting took place. Oh my goodness, praise Jesus. You hear about this happening all the time. It's the closet it's ever got to home. It's the closest, not closet, what was I thinking of? It's the closest it's ever come to home, the parent said. It's a surreal feeling and you panic. You just want to get your daughter, yes you do. Any mother, any father wants their child now in their arms. When something like this happens. On Rustdale Continuation High School website, students are described as immigrants between the ages of 16 and 21 years old, many of whom are being processed through the U.S. immigration system for the first time. A majority of them are working to support themselves and their families while also pursuing a high school diploma. The website states, due to their migration experiences, our students have faced a lot of trauma. Yes, they have. Yes. California Governor uh, Gavin Newsom tweeted in regard to the shooting, eliminating the state of gun violence in California communities. Today's shooting at Oakland School was a horrifying act of violence that has grown too familiar. Newsom wrote, This cannot continue. Gun violence has taken too much of our communities. So many young children, so many young teachers. I, I, I even think um, one of the higher-ups uh, was even shot to death in one of the uh, school shootings uh, back here a few months ago. Something like that anyway. Thank God nobody there was killed. And hopefully the ones in the hospital will survive and make it and recover from this tragedy. This is so hideous. It's, it's stupid. Stuff like this should never happen. 
especially when there's children at, at a school. Teachers trying to teach the children to grow up and become great adults, survive this life that we're living. Oh, mercy. Just can't understand it. I guess we'll never understand it, will we? Republicans introduce a bill to protect middle class from enriched IRS. A new bill seeks to codify, C-O-D-I-F-Y, codify, codify the $400,000 income floor for targeting by the RS auditors. The bill's language mirrors an amendment introduced by Senator Crapole, C-R-A-P-O, Crapole, uh, Republican, which the Senate rejected 50-50 along party lines. Senator uh, Crapo said in light of recent proposals to masses, massively expand the IRS with unpre unprecedented, unprecedented amounts of mandatory funding. Yeah, we read about this along for the past few, or one month anyway, for a few days. The IRS continued abuses of taxpayer rights and privacy. Any additional IRS funding monitoring of Americans' private finances must come with guardrails to help protect against abuses. President Biden Inflation Reduction Act appropriates funds for a L-I-T-A-N-Y, Litany, Litany of Left-Wing Proprieties including earmarking $80 billion for the IRS to hire 87,000 new staffs. The army of auditors is growing in size, just as low- and middle-income Americans are recovering from the COVID lockdowns when millions of Americans were laid off, filed for unemployment. Meanwhile, housing costs and gas prices have risen to eye-popping levels. Senator Crapo's Two-page bill adds just 21 words to President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act. None of the funds appropriated under subsection A-1 may be used to audit taxpayers with taxable incomes below 400000 The straightforward edit to Biden's law has been panned by Democrats and the media is an attack on a necessary service needlessly divisive. Republicans are left to wonder why the bill lacks bipartisan support when IRS Commissioner Charles Riddig himself wrote in a letter to lawmakers in August promising that audit rates will not rise relative to recent years for households making under $400,000. Natasha Sarin, S-A-R-I-N, a counselor for tax policy and implementation at the Treasury Department echoed Riddig, R-I-T-T-I-G, Riddig, saying that these resources are not raising audits on any small business or any household that makes under 400000 a year. I'm petting my little dog here, Paisley. Uh, she was in the chair. She was cuddled up. I covered her up with her blankets, and I don't know what she wants. What's the matter? Did Angel get your blanket? Look out. Angel, are you on her? No. Get back up there and lay down. I had you covered. I had you covered. Yes, I did. Now get up there. I'll be done here in a minute. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Kids, kids, kids. Four-legged kids, by the way. Okay. Senate Democrats claim the massive funding boost will allow the IRS to administer the tax code more fairly thus paying for the left-wing priorities in the act. The White House own fact sheet touts that the Inflammation Reduction Act is the most aggressive action we have taken to confront the climate crisis. President Biden signed the Federal Infl Inflation Reduction Act into law on Tuesday, August 16th. The law is slimmed down version of the Build Back Better bill that failed in the Senate due to moderate Senator Joe Manchin's ref 
refusal to support good old Joe. Ain't he something? I'd like to smack him. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I will behave. I will try. Positively. Uh, Paisley, what do you want? What do you want? I can't pause this uh, camera because if I do, I won't have a camera when I get back, Paisley. Um, let me go on. Just hang on, Paisley. One more. Okay, let's go back. No, I want to save that. Yeah, I want to save that one. I'm going to take a break here, people. I will be back. i got to see what uh, Paisley wants. She's a little shy weenie. Uh, Crystal is a little shy weenie um, with um, Yorkie. Yeah, her daddy was, was a Yorkie and a shy weenie uh, little one. But he ran out in the road and got ran over. He wasn't being watched like he should have been, and he got killed. And then Mama, Mama Muffy, was their mommy, and uh, I lost her. Oh, it's been over, what, a year now or more. I've got the date wrote down. But um, she ended up with a disease called Cushing's disease, and uh, I had never heard of it. My veterinarian had never heard of it. He had to look it up on the internet and really study it. But uh, she got to where she stayed bloated constantly, and she could not hold her urine. No, she just couldn't. She tried so hard. God love her. And at the time it really got bad, I was in Indiana at my daughter's. And... Uh, we had no idea, you know, what was wrong with her. So I stayed out there, and uh, Teresa was looking at her, my daughter, and says, Mom, we got to do something. And I said, well, as soon as I get back home, I'm going to take her to the veterinarian and see what's going on, why her tummy don't go down. And uh, we did not realize how sick she was. And I lost her. I had to put her down. The vet said the only thing that I can come up with, because I have never seen this before, is called Cushing's disease. And she must have suffered so bad. You know, it breaks your heart. It really does. When you don't know exactly what's going on, and I was out in Indiana, and I wanted to get back home again, uh, because, uh, and she rode all the way out there. I took all the dogs with me when I went. And I believe this was uh, when my son-in-law passed away. Uh, he was young, but he had sugar diabetes. And uh, I got a call one day. and He was with my grandson. He was staying at my grandson's place. And they had been to town. I don't know what for, but when they got home... They went to get out of the pickup truck, and uh, Tony couldn't get out. And when he did get out, he just fell right down on the ground. And Joshua, my grandson, did everything he could to save him. Mouth to mouth, heart massage, everything. It was too late. Tony was gone. Okay, people, I'll be back. I gotta find my little knot here. Look at the camera. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back.